Linda Draculis here, RK3 Designs, and it's fall, y'all. I have a special project. I know a lot of people entertain as the holidays start to come in, and they kind of like to start switching from the summer to the fall. This is a really cool way to dress up your table. So what I've done is I've just gotten a plain round from Home Depot and I've prepped it like I would prep any sample board. I did take my sander and kind of hit the edges so that I made it a little more rounded instead of um, quite as sharp as what the edges they have. And the reason I did that is I want the epoxy to really flow really well. Also, if you have any knots like this, you're gonna need to bondo those or that will kind of uh, transpose through your finish. So I prepped my board, painted it with two coats of bare paint and primer in one, and we're ready to get started. Okay, so the colors that I'm using are very fallish colors, very soothing colors, and the technique that we're gonna do is kind of a meld and marble, super easy, super fast. So the first color that I'm gonna lay down is by Color Obsession, and it is Honey Caramel. So lay it down. Just a fun little design. Really, don't overthink it. Then I'm gonna take the cup and lay it down. All right, second color I'm gonna come in with is, let's see, let's do this one. Um, this is also by Color Obsession and it's chocolate orange. Really pretty. And I'm just gonna kinda come in now in between my other color I laid down. Drop it down. So one of my favorite browns is by Illumilite. It's their brown opaque dye, and that'll be available on our website. All right, so I'm gonna pour this out as well. And I'm just kinda going in between those colors. All right, take that. All right, so the next color we're gonna come in is uh, a really blingy metallic color and it's by Resin Art and it's appropriately named Golden Autumn. So bring that in. Okay, and then the last color is also by Resin Art and oh, one of my very favorite go-to bling colors and it's a uh, tiger eye. Holy cow, gorgeous color. It really kind of makes a statement. All right, and I'm gonna take that out. So I have everything down on the board. And you can see I'm really not worried about how it's down on the board. I just have all these colors melded together. Now, before we go to the next step, I wanna heat it up just a little bit. What that'll do will help me in my next step meld those colors together. All right, so now I come in with a plain Bondo spreader, little cheap thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically do a skip trial which means I'm just barely moving those colors to where they're touching. I'm not over mixing them because then I have mud. So I'm just gonna take it and just barely move it. And I'm going different directions. Be sure to bring it over to the side so that you can get it to start flowing over your edges. And that's about all that I'm gonna mix now. If I have any little surface tension, all I have to do is touch it with my fingers. Guys, that's all that I'm gonna mix it together because I love the contrast of these colors. I'm gonna hit it with some heat. Address any of the surface tension. 
Oh gosh, I love that. Now I'm gonna start moving it and tilting because I wanna make sure I get those edges. So I'm gonna move and actually as I start melding these colors together, that movement makes it look so pretty. So I'm just kind of moving it, letting the product fall over the edge, just moving it and tilting it gives it such a pretty effect. All right, so now I'm gonna pick up my drips and I'm gonna come around and start addressing my edges. And then what you can also do is come in with your metallics that are still left or your epoxy that's still left in your cups. Shouldn't have stuck them together. It's quite a bit still left in there. And you can come in and get those edges. Pick up the drips. Now you wanna make sure when you do this that you do it on a level surface because epoxy is going to self-level. So if you let it start to cure and it's on an unlevel surface, all of your material is gonna run off and that will really mess up your design. Okay, wow. Guys, this is absolutely stunning. The colors, are, they're making me wanna have something pumpkin spicish. All right, so I'm gonna let this set just a little bit and then we're gonna come in with some special bling. Okay, so we've let this piece set 10 minutes. Now, it's not so important the time that you let it set it's more you're trying to get your epoxy to a certain stage. And I want my epoxy to set up just a little bit and start to gel so it quits moving. And what I'm the step I'm fixing to do, it's not going to move a whole lot. My temperature in here is about 74. So 10 minutes is about a good time. If it were 94, I wouldn't have to wait quite 10 minutes. You know, a couple of minutes, a couple of three, four minutes, and then it would get to the part where I want it to be. Okay, so now we're gonna come in, we're gonna come in with some bling. And this is 007 Metallic Gold by Color Obsession. All right, so now I'm just gonna come in and add some fun detail. Just play. Basically, I'm just gonna kinda make up designs as I go. And you don't even have to do this. This may be one of those I should've walked away Rhonda moments, but you know me. I can't walk away. I got to have me some bling going on. But you definitely do not have to do this part. And sometimes I like to come in and do almost like a double vein to follow it around and almost give it like a 2D look. So it's not just one vein, it's kind of a really kind of a artsy shadowy vein. So I'm not following the exact path and as you can see, when I start this, I start off of the board and then I come in, do my, oh, well, see I had a drip and that's okay. I can just pick up on that drip and follow it out. There we go. All right, I really like that. I think that's really cool. So now I'm gonna come in with some gold mica powder and it's a one quarter ounce or half a bag of the mica powder from Stone Coat Countertop mixed with 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. So I wanna make sure it might, it's coming out my spray bottle correctly and I'm gonna come up high and I'm gonna hit it. Now, what it's gonna do to those veins that I just drug over there is gonna kinda make them move a little bit and give them a little bit of character. Wow, love this. All right, guys, that is a beautiful finish, and I'm gonna walk away. I am gonna go one step farther, and I cut this out with my Cricut, and it says, tis the season to be thankful. So what I'm gonna do is when this dries tomorrow, I'm gonna take this and, Pull it off, it's, it's a vinyl I've created with my Cricut. 
I'm gonna place that down and then I'm gonna pour a flood coat. So this will be embedded in there. Guys, I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you get inspired to do some fun crafty projects during the holidays. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and that way you'll be notified every time we put out a video. Check out our website for additional pictures of our project along with our supply list, rk3designs.com, and check out our online course, onlineepoxypro.com. And remember guys, until next time, don't be scared, move forward, and be creative.